Here's what Tesla won't tell you about your car charger installation. Hi, I'm Jessica with Grazer Electric. We are one of the top Tesla certified installers in the Austin area. I hear over and over that Tesla is recommending the NEMA 1454 for installation for your car. And that was a great option until NEC 2020 came out, which is our national electrical code. It was adopted in January of 2021. And now that makes the NEMA 1450, the 650, the 1030, the 1430, and the 620 just not the best option. Right here, this is 210.8, which is the ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel. Um, for the A dwelling units, all 125 through 250 volt receptacles, the highlighted version is what's new in this code year. Uh, number two is garages, which applies to all receptacles being installed in the garage, including all of those NEMA numbers I just listed off. Now that the receptacle has to be GFCI protected, whenever the car runs its self-test cycle, it trips the GFI because it can't tell the difference between a ground fault and a routine self-test cycle, so it trips. Each time the GFI trips, it will stop the charging and it needs to be reset before charging can resume. We found that the best way to avoid the nuisance tripping is to install a hardwire charging station like the Tesla wall connector, the ChargePoint Flex, uh, Blink, Polestar, Clipper Creek, Juice Box, those are all good options to um, install. If you have any questions about installing a charger for your house or you're looking to get a quote and you're in the Austin area, the best way to get a quote is with the form on our website at grazerelectric.com. There is a green button at the top of the page that says get a car charger quote, and that button will take you to the page with the form on it. Thanks for watching.